Hi, she was seven. I'm back. How y'all like my look? It's kawaii. Fairy K kawaii look. Okay, if y'all ain't into it, all right, whatever. If y'all like this look, go to my beauty channel. All right. So today we're going to be talking about nice women. Women who are too nice, okay? I, uh, I think I did a video about this a while ago, but I think I need to redo it because a lot of women are too nice and they think that being nice is going to get them what they want in a relationship or the type of men that they want. That's just not true. It's actually the opposite, okay? A man who deals with nice women, to, uh, a lot of times they take advantage of them. They know that they'll always be there, so they treat them any type of way. They know that they'll always forgive them, so they'll mess up on purpose because Oh, she'll take you back. Oh, whatever. She's too nice. She's never gonna, you know. So women that are too nice tend to have more issues in their relationship. Women who are mean, not not mean, but strict, or knows what she wants and not afraid to say it, have less problems in their relationship. Why? Because that man knows if he messes up and that woman is not nice or forgiving, that this is basically over and she'll dump him and go do better okay now if you're a woman that's too nice oh whatever he's just gonna keep doing what he's doing never improve he doesn't have to because you don't demand it okay um and i told i think i told this story in my last video um i have a friend she was really pretty you know she dated all the athletes and you know just rappers and stuff like that but she was too nice and now she, she's she's single she, she never landed a man because she was too nice okay um they would totally take advantage of her lie to her she would believe them treat her like that she treat her like you know garbage and she would still always go back thinking that if she would play the submissive sweet role and do whatever they asked that they would say oh that's a good wife because you know she's submissive but it wasn't that way she was the the what do you call it, the doormat so you know the one the women that they would end up with would be demanding and they would have standards and they would say no i'm not gonna put up with this you know da, da, da. they had standards and they had self-respect you know men don't want to marry a woman who doesn't respect herself you know if you let someone treat you any kind of way and get away with it you know you're setting yourself up to be in an abusive relationship you know what i mean so that's not good uh, as for me I was always straightforward I spoke what was on my mind I said what I meant and I meant what I said okay because that's how I was raised like my mom she means what she says okay she's gonna tell you point blank the truth she's gonna be like look you don't look good in that outfit you can take that off you know she's gonna come straight up and tell you you know <laughs> so she has no problem telling men exactly what she needs them to do how she needs them to be what she expects out of them in a relationship and i learned that from her you know ask for what you want ask for what you want and if that person is not willing to comply then you can both save time and move on okay so a lot of women are afraid to ask what for what they want because they think that the man is going to say oh well i can't do that and they'll lose the man and be single again but what if he says yes? And what if you get what you want? And what if the whole relationship is totally different because you stated exactly what you wanted instead of just letting him do whatever he wants or treat you any kind of way? What if you set the standards and the rules in the relationship from the start and while he was still infatuated with you and just wanting to get in your pants and you set the rules up in place so that throughout the relationship it's just the expectation and what's done okay you can't wait until you slept with them you can't wait until um you know you're in about two three years and then start changing stuff you gotta you gotta tell it from the get-go you gotta say look this is what i need in the man a partner a mate can you do this and they're still infatuated with you they're still in love and that honeymoon feeling so they're gonna agree to it they're gonna start doing it because they know it'll help you know get you closer together so that eventually you'll sleep with him so he's going to be doing all the little things that you've expected and after two weeks of doing something it basically becomes habit 
you know so if he's used to doing certain things for you that's going to continue on into the relationship especially since he's invested time and money and effort into you while he's in love or while he's infatuated because or while he's in lust this is going to set inside of his subconscious mind to set the tone of the relationship okay so ladies that's why it's very important to tell them what you want straight up in the beginning okay because okay for example men only think about sex most of the time they just want to get in your pants right so while they're still infatuated with you that's when you make your demands you know that's when you say and you don't have to be like rude about it you can just say it in a sweet way like you know you know i really love um going to this place do you want to go this weekend you want to go on a trip uh, you know, get them to do stuff for you. Uh, he might think he's going to get lucky on this trip, even if he might not. He's still going to go for it, right? Um, but make your demands, you know. I, I love when a man can, like, just take care of me. That's just so such a turn on. I love it when, you know, uh, that's my dream relationship where a man takes care of me and like makes you feel like secure you tell them that straight up they're going to try to do whatever they can do to make you feel secure whatever's in their price range because not everybody's going to be able to afford the same things you know they might take you out to dinner they might take you to you know a concert or something they might tr try to spoil you the best way that they know how or can but you need to put that out there that you expect more because if you don't they're just going to give you whatever you know what i mean and you if you're not you know if you don't accept whatever and you get mad and they say oh well she's crazy she's psycho she, you know you didn't tell him what you wanted so how are they supposed to know they don't read minds so this is why you need to tell them um and they'll be more willing to do things in the beginning of the relationship and like i said it will become habit and then your man is doing the things that you want him to do and it'll just be automatic okay and don't just take 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 you know say well, well do you have anything special that you know you just you know would love your woman to do or how to be or whatever do one thing don't do don't get don't get don't let him get greedy one thing okay give him one thing that he wants and make sure you do that you know very well so he can keep doing whatever he's doing for you okay because it's um it's only going to increase what he wants to do because now that you you know you're giving him something in return now he wants to work on getting something else perhaps i don't know maybe like oh can you cook for me once a week or oh can you um you know do this and this and that and i don't ever advise women cooking for men unless they're married or living together and engaged like like really making wedding plans i don't advise women cook for men because that's not girlfriend duties that's wife duties okay so maybe uh you can uh cook something really nice and invite a bunch of people over and he can eat the food and see how you cook but don't just do it for him make it a big a special occasion invite friends and do a dinner party or whatever but don't cook for him individually okay if you're already playing wife there's no need for him to marry you okay um so yeah pizza Go out to eat, take out salad, whatever y'all eat. Make sure that he knows that you're not performing wife duties without a ring, okay? Um, but yes, the beginning of the relationship is fair. If you're into the relationship, it's too late. You can't, you're not going to get a man to do what you want unless you put on some type of lingerie, sexy outfit and uh, go crazy and get him in bed and then ask him, okay? You're going to have to appeal to his sexual nature to get what you want at um if you're already in the relationship but uh like if it's new like i said don't be too nice don't let them run over you demand what you want up front but do it in a nice way offer them one thing in return you know it, be it you know um i don't know like a massage or you know um uh, a manicure a pedicure just something sweet and nice that doesn't cost you anything but shows that you care and have time you know to actually do these things with you um so don't get caught up in men that make you feel all oh you know butterflies in your stomach because that's the type of man that you will lose all your standards for and those are the type of men who will exploit you 
So make sure you don't feel that way about a guy when you get into a relationship with him. Make sure he feels that way about you because if you feel that way about him, you're going to let him treat you any type of way and you're going to accept it. Okay. A lot of ladies have this problem where they have like this strong, emotional love, deep love for this person and they will stay in a bad relationship, let them take advantage of them, let them cheat on them, let them hit them and do all this kind of crazy stuff because they have this love and connection. That's just your weakness. That's not a connection because he doesn't have it towards you. Okay. Uh, that's just your weakness and his way to exploit you so you need to understand that and you know relationships aren't about that connection feeling it's about you know compatibility do you work well together are you good friends together do you compromise well together uh do you have love for each other you know because like i said every time love between men and women is not unconditional it is conditional condition means if you don't do this i'm gonna do that okay Unconditional means no matter what you do, I'm going to love you forever. You can do whatever you want. I'm still going to love you. Okay? Like your, the love that you have for your child. Okay? That's unconditional. The love you have for your parents. Unconditional. The love you have for, for a woman or a man is conditional. If you cheat on me, I'm going to leave you. If you if you do this and this and this, I don't want to be with you anymore. No that is conditional. Okay? So you have to go into the relationship thinking like that. This love is conditional. It is based on conditionals. That's why, I mean conditionals. <laughs> That's why when you get married, they give you a bunch of vows. They say, you will do this, I will do that. Those are the conditions that you're getting married under. That is not conditional love. If you have to list off a bunch of things that you gotta do before I say I do, that's conditions, okay? So remember, you don't give your pure true love to someone that's conditional you just have love for them you know your true love is for yourself and for your children and for your family okay those people will be with you until the day you die okay they don't care if you mess up they're still gonna have love for you they're still gonna uh you know well most family i don't know there's some crazy families out there but most families someone in your family is gonna love you condition unconditionally okay so Remember that, ladies. Don't don't let your heart lead you. Let your mind do the thinking and let your heart feel the results of your logical choice when you choose a partner. And don't be nice. Make your demands up front. Get everything out on the table so that everyone knows what everyone expects. Give him a little something in return. Make sure you act while the relationship is new so that it becomes habit. If you're already in the relationship and it's too late, you got to try some freaky stuff and talk to them while y'all are in the bed or doing something to get your way. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, that works though. Uh, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, um, don't be too nice. Okay. Say what you want. Mean what you say. Don't get ran over. Make your demands up front, okay? I can't stress that enough. And guys, I don't know if y'all are watching. Understand that women need to tell them, tell you guys what they want because they lose themselves. They will accept things that they wouldn't normally accept. They'll end up unhappy. Then they'll go cheat because you're not doing the things that they wanted their man to do in the first place. And they might be too nice to tell you. And they might go and sneak over here to this guy who's doing exactly what they wish you would do. And instead of hurting your feelings and talking to you about it, they're just going to go cheat. So it's very important that women tell you what, what they want so that you can understand and know what they want, know the things that they like, and know what they expect so that you don't get cheated on because they're too nice. Okay, women are programmed to be nice. Okay, oh, you have to be nice. You have to be soft. You have to be, you know, this is what this look is about, the... The little doll-like look to be submissive. This is the, you know, J-style Japanese, like, anime kawaii look. But women are trained to be nice and not talk and not speak up and da da da, da. But if you, if you do it in a nice way, ladies, if you tell them what you want, they have to respect that, you know? A, a lot of men will say, I love a woman who knows what she wants. That means there's no guessing, there's no games, it's just straight up, you know? I First, if I meet you... 
you want me to pay your bills? Okay, I know it's not gonna work out already because I don't like gold diggers if I was a man, right? Uh, if I have financial stability, you say, okay, this is what I want, A, B, C, and D. Okay, I can take care of your bills. Da, 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 da. Uh, what are you gonna do for me? Uh, okay, well, I can, I can do, I can do this, this, and that. Okay, now we know what each other wants. Let's let's get into it. But if you don't say anything and you're just, you know, expecting something, then disappointed because you don't get it, you're gonna go cheat, or you're gonna end the relationship, or you're gonna be unhappy in the relationship. So it's important to say what you want. Men, ladies, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next video.